Well, hello everyone. I'm back here to try more food for you. Before we start, I just want to say yes, I'm still doing TikTok despite the fact that TikTok has recently admitted that it suppresses content by anybody they deem to be possible victims of bullying, such as people who are LGBTQA, disabled, and fat. They say they're doing this to protect us. Hey, TikTok, you want to protect us? Try removing the bullies instead of suppressing us. I want comments, likes, and duets, please. I don't want to be suppressed because I'm not society's standard of beautiful. That being said, if you happen to be on TikTok, I'm going to include a link of my profile down in the description of this video. And with that being said, let's get on to um, a candy tasting. This is something called a butter tablet. It is apparently a type of candy that is very popular in Scotland. Um, so I got some just to see what it's like because I've heard mixed reviews. And we'll see if my American taste buds can handle it. <laughs> uh, as always, we must start with reading the ingredients because allergies. Always read the ingredients, folks. The ingredients are sugar, sweetened condensed milk, glucose syrup, butter, 5%, milk, salt, glycerin, salt, dried, dried egg white, flavoring for allergen see highlighted ingredients. And then this is one thing I kind of like about um, anything made in the UK is they always include like uh, energy and stuff like that instead of, you know, what Americans include. So ener energy is per 100 grams, uh, 1660 kj i have absolutely no idea what that means so uh you know it's uh 200 and or no 392 kcal fat 5.4 g which i guess i mean is uh, grams of which saturates 3.4 grams carbohydrates 86 grams of which sugar 77 grams protein one gram and salt is 0 0.84 grams. Yeah, I, I think we Americans should put it that way because I think our labeling kind of sucks. Oh. The smell is interesting. I, I, would call, I would describe it as kind of a caramel fudge smell, if there's such a thing as caramel fudge. Mmm. Mmm. Um, interesting texture. It, um, the texture reminds me of maple sugar candy, which if if you've never had maple sugar candy, um, you're missing out. It's something that I've only had whenever we visited relatives on the East Coast, because it doesn't taste as fresh here. I've tried buying it here in California, and it doesn't taste as fresh, you know, and it's basically what it sounds like. It's candy made out of maple syrup until it crystallizes like sugar and usually comes in the form of maple leaves. So in texture, it's like maple sugar candy. In taste, I can't quite describe the taste. It's it's a little bit of caramel, a little bit of butter. Molly Weasley, you're not getting any. Sugar is not good for dogs. You know, you cry so much anymore I ought to change your name to Kermit and have my name changed to Jenna Marbles. Um, a little bit of caramel, very, very sugary, buttery taste. I'm going to have one more piece and then I'm going to put the dog on camera because she won't stop crying. Mom, the camera can't film that far. My lens is not magic. I can't film in the dining room. No, I'm coming in there. Oh, 
Oh, don't come in for like another second yet, because I'm gonna. Come here, Molly. Let me hurry up and end this video. So, you, you have been crying a lot lately. Are you just kissing me because you want some of my candy? All right, so my American Taste Buds can't handle this. Um, I wouldn't eat more than two pieces at a time. Um, yes, phone, ring, why don't you? Uh, yeah, no more than two pieces because I think any more than that you'd get really sick to your stomach. Oh, call from unavailable. It's a telemarketer, folks! Despite the fact we're on the do not call list, we get calls from telemarketers. <laughs> Stop calling us telemarketers. Yeah, don't eat more than two pieces at a time and make them small pieces because you will get really sick to your stomach because they are very sweet. Just like you. Okay. Yes, I love you too. Alright, goodbye.